Hey guys, the five here with episode number three of our Fulham career mode. You can see here we are going to first of all accept, uh, reject, sorry, an offer for Anthony Knockout to go to Montpellier on loan, and we're also going to officially loan in Aaron, not Aaron, Jacob Ramsey from Aston Villa. Obviously, Aaron Ramsey is his younger brother, I do believe who plays for Villa, and I think apparently he's better. But he is going to start in today's game against newly promoted uh, Hull at Craven Cottage. We've started off the season brilliantly, in brilliant form. Won every single game, and we're not going to look to stop here. As a great save from Gazaniga does deny them the chance of going 1-0 up as Ramsey makes his first contribution of the game. Out wide to Weber, back inside. Lovely kind of fake shot there. Plays it inside, it falls to Wilson, whose shot hits the post. Cleared away, back to Ramsey though, he's going to have a shot of his own and it does unfortunately deflect and is easily caught by the keeper. But you can see, Ramsey in the attacking phase is not too shabby. He's, he's pretty good making some nice balls, good dribbling and obviously, I think I've mentioned in the previous episode, the reason we've loaned in Ramsey and not signed anyone officially is because Zambo Anguissa is on loan at Napoli for this season. And I'd like to kind of have a little go with him next season and obviously if we signed a player maybe we'd have too many and there'd be complaints of lack of game time and whatnot so yeah learning in Ramsey for the season we'll bring in Zambongi to next season and unfortunately for the first time this season we go 1-0 down and it is Honeyman the captain of Hull putting them 1-0 to the good not the best from ourselves but you can actually kind of see how tired some of the players are the con fixture congestion in the championship with all the cup games and whatnot it's quite difficult to pick a fully fit team uh, every single game as you can see there Mitrovic with another chance he's not really being as clinical in the game as he is in real life but tackled over Reed we put him up top here for this second half he then makes an instant impact playing in that striker position he lays the ball off crop to uh, Harry Wilson not Callum Wilson Harry Wilson then tucks the ball into the back of the net and we're back on level terms our Welsh wizard out on that right hand side Scoring the goals for us here. As another Welshman in Roden finds Joe Bryan. Bryan to Reed. Reed, from that attacking position, the striker position, should I say, has been brilliant. As he does go and get a goal to add to his assist with Weber, the man getting the assist, our 17 year old wonder kid coming through the academy. And I think I'm going to officially make him a first teamer now over Ivan Cavalera. So that does mean, should we come to January? And an offer comes in for Cabano or Cavallero. I'd be more than happy to accept it here. Another chance for Reed. Unfortunately, he kind of rounded the goalkeeper. But he actually closed down the angle. Maybe if he had rounded to the other side, it would have been much easier. But the score is still 2-1. We're still winning. But with 10 minutes remaining, a lovely ball from Honeyman to Smallwood. Who tucks the ball into the back of the net. And he does make it 2-2. Really unfortunate. But Honeyman was running the show for Hull here today. Absolutely incredible from him in this one. But we do come into the final few minutes of this game. It's 2-2. Mitrovic isn't on the pitch. We've got Dekold over Reed up top. And with the form he's been in, it is incredible. Because we do go ahead and we do make it 3-2 in the final few minutes. Dekold over Reed has probably, and I, I mean probably, he's definitely chucked his name in the hat for a starting position as a striker for us here at Fulham because Mitrovic has just not been as clinical as Dekord over Reed. It's that simple. Even from the cam position, Dekord over Reed has been brilliant in this save so far. And obviously, in that cam, we can chuck in Kearney there. We could put Wilson there and play Cavalero on the right. We have lots of options. And yeah, maybe I should have accepted the offer from Marseille for Mitrovic because he's just not been too good. And should we come? To January and he's still not scoring as many goals as he should definitely Liam Delap could be a first teamer and we might even look to sell him on because if you're not performing in the championship which is what Mitrovic normally performs really well in the championship and then when it comes to the Premier League he maybe struggles a bit more but for this career mode it seems like he's struggling in the championship but yeah hopefully he can get in the goals hopefully he can start banging him in soon or sooner rather than later and uh Hopefully he can uh, catch up with Dekord over Reed when it comes to goal scoring and the goal providing. I think he's got one goal and one assist so far this season has Mitrovic, whereas Dekord over Reed, I believe, now has four goals and four assists. So kind of smashing him out of the water there, really. And a the majority of those games are coming from that cam position. So 
coming into this one, we're taking on Wickham in the Carabao Cup. Another relatively easy tie considering um, the quality of our, quality of our team. Obviously, we had Bradford in the previous round. Now we've got Wickham. We should be able to knock them out and move on to the next round of the uh, of the cup relatively easily. And you can see we're two 0 up here in this one, kind of cruising at this point. As we do, actually, we do concede. Uh, Vokes, formerly of Burnley, I do believe that scores that goal. But yeah, even after that goal, we're cruising. We're still performing really to a high standard. This is the rotational team as well. Obviously, if we had the first team out there, we probably would have scored a couple of more goals. But Rory, no, sorry, Liam Delap, not Rory, his, his dad who played for Stoke. Uh, Liam Delap is now, I think, now outperforming Mitrovic as well in terms of goals and assists. So, yeah, Mitrovic is walking a very thin line to becoming dropped, you know. Liam Delap, I think, is like 10 ratings lower than him, but he's scoring the goals as he gets another one there in this game. 3 1 is now the score here against Wickham. And we are cruising at this point. A nice little cup run wouldn't really be too bad. All things are Maybe it would congest the fixtures even more. But, you know, you can't say no to a nice little cup run. A nice bit of potential silverware. Even if it is the Carabao Cup. As we come into the final game of today's episode. Once again at Craven Cottage. And this game we are taking on Stoke. In the league. Again, another former Premier League team. They came down a, a couple of years ago. And they never really bounced back up. Which is unfortunate for them. But, uh, you know, they lost Shakiri, they lost Anatovic, two really, really good players. And, yeah, unfortunately, they've just kind of stayed in the championship. But as for ourselves, we're hoping to bounce straight back out of it. We've got Deckard over Reed through on goal. And once again, he is scoring again. He's just, yeah, pretty much Mitrovic is not a starter anymore until Reed and the lap start to slow down. And then maybe he'll get another chance. Maybe he'll become a cup striker getting the chances in the FA Cup and the Carabao Cup. But yeah, for right now, it's going to be Deckard over Reed and it's going to be Liam Delap as our main strikers for this season. Now, I'll mention this now. Next episode, we're going to kick off with the transfer deadline day. We've got about 20 million to spend. There's not really any major positions that need upgrading. I think we're pretty solid all around the pitch. But if you guys can think of a player that you would like me to sign for this Fulham team, just comment them down below and um, we will look to pick them up in the uh, in the save. Yeah, 20 million I think is a decent little budget. Obviously, if we don't sign anyone now, we'll have 20 million to spend in January, which could be even better. As we come into this one, Mitrovic is on the pitch now with about half an hour remaining. Weber is going to play it across to Reed. Unfortunately, saved by the keeper. But yeah, Weber got a goal in this game. Playing really well with 2-1 up. And we are cruising at this point. And we're going to look to maybe add a third goal here as Wilson looks to knock the ball through to Mitrovic. Takes it down brilliantly. Deckard over Reed to Mitro, to Mitro, to Weber. And I will give Mitrovic one thing. He's getting a lot of assists. He's not scoring too many, but he's getting a lot of assists as Weber gets his brace for today's episode and today's game. And that's going to be how epi the episode ends. A 3-1 victory against Stoke. They're going to have this shot from the corner. It's going to go out. The whistle's going to be blown. Hope you guys have enjoyed this one. If you have, please like, subscribe, and peace.